Hey everyone, this is Richard Byrne from freetechforteachers.com and today I'm going to start a new weekly video series uh, in which I share a, a quick tip about, uh, about my practices in the classroom uh, and some uses of technology in the classroom that I've seen uh, either in my own school or at some of the various conferences that I've attended over the years. Um, and I have to give a shout out to Mario Armstrong who encouraged me to, to put my face out there at least once a week and let people know who the man behind the curtain was at Free Technology for Teachers. Uh, so thanks Mario. And so today's tech tip it goes out to all of the people that use videos in their classroom. As a social studies teacher over the years I have heard all the jokes and all the snickers about how social studies teachers use way too many videos and show way too many films. Uh, and I have to admit that I've been guilty of that at times. Uh, I, at one point, a few years back, showed all of Gandhi to, to one of my classes. Uh, that wasn't the best teaching practice ever, but uh, I was young and wasn't quite sure what I was doing. Um, and now I'm a little bit older and have a little bit more of a clue, but sometimes I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing. Uh, so anyway, uh, what I've started to do over the last year since my school went one-to-one uh, whenever I show a video in my class that's longer than 10 or 15 minutes, I set up a back channel discussion forum. And in the back channel, my students can ask me questions while the video is playing, and I can answer the questions for them immediately. Uh, so they don't have to write down the questions and wait until later. Uh, it gives a lot more relevance to their questions and a lot more relevance to the answers I provide them. And it's also a great way for kids to uh, comment on what they're seeing and just record some of their reactions. And the service that I use over the last year to to host my back channel discussions has been uh, todaysmeet.com and todaysmeet.com allows you to quickly set up a, a small chat room uh, your chat room can have an expiration date that you define uh, I've set up some of my chat rooms to expire after two hours um, so that I don't have any you know lingering record of it or, or people coming into the chat room that I don't want in there uh, so todaysmeet.com is a program that I've used there's a lot of other great uh, services that allow you to set up a back channel discussion. Tinychat.com is pretty popular. Uh, Google Wave, now that's av available to everyone, uh, could also be a great option that I'm going to, going to experiment with this fall. So that's today's tech tip. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week.